You can see here her feet yeah, are a little bit wet where she's shame. been in licking there. She yeah. will not leave those she's feet alone. Definitely, yeah. They are very, very itchy. That's right. We're really willing to try anything at this stage. Oh, oh please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to get it, isn't it? <laughs> In Brisbane, Alison's on her way to help a dog with a prickly problem. So today we're off to see Lulu, who's owned by Leanne. She's called me this morning because she's quite concerned with Lulu's skin. Sit. Good girl. Ready? Go. Lulu is a beautiful little cavoodle. She's seven and a half years old and she's definitely a part of our family. She spends all of her time with us and she's our furry friend. Hello, Leanne. Nice Hello. to see you, Ali. Thanks for coming to see Lulu today. Pleasure. Would you like to come in? Come on, Lulu. Let's go, Lulu. We're going to have a talk to Ali today, aren't we? Let's go through here. Would this work for you here too? Perfect setup. Yeah, we'll pop her on the table. That's great. That I'll way. pop her up. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Right. There you are, Lulu. So, what's going on with Lulu's skin? So what we've noticed lately, Ali, is that she's just been licking her feet. You can see here her feet yeah, are a little bit wet where she's shame. been in licking there. Yeah, you can see the redness and it seems like it's hard for her to stop. She's otherwise healthy and well. So there's mm -hmm. nothing actually in her foot pad besides her continuously licking. No. So it looks like she's quite irritated. Definitely allergies are one of those things that we'll put high on the list. Her lips are actually quite red as well. You're a bit irritated with that. Can I have a look? Sorry, baby. You've got the worried face. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine, I promise. This is just your skin. That chin is a little bit red. I just want to have a look at her belly. Sometimes they do get rashes on okay. their belly. Good girl, Lily. Yeah, she has been licking down here as well. It's a little bit red. But armpits are okay. Yeah. Those back feet probably are the worst. She will not leave those She's feet alone. Definitely, yeah. They are very, very itchy. That's right. So I've examined Lulu today and I can see that she's been quite distressed with all the itching and licking of her paws in particular, as well as under her chin. Classic signs of allergies. Alrighty, let's check you up all over. Just make sure everything else is going as it should. It's a good heart, isn't it? Okay, so it definitely is looking like she has allergies there, likely contact allergies. There's no actual infection, which is great. She hasn't broken open the skin, there's no pus or discharge, but she's definitely itchy. What diet is Lulu on at the moment? Um, so at the moment she's on like a dry dog food that was recommended just by our local pet stores and I believe it's got a mixture of meat and vegetables in there and it's the type that was recommended for her breed. Okay. One of the first things we usually like to try with allergies is a food, so okay. changing her diet. Having her on a single protein is probably the best mm -hmm. way to see if she's got any protein allergies okay. as well. So there is a food that I have in mind, so I'll go grab that for you. Lovely. And we can see if Lulu likes it. See if she it. likes it. We're really willing to try anything at this stage. We've tried a lot of things and haven't had much success. It does seem to bother her that her feet are itchy, so it would be really great to find a solution. Hey Lulu, so I've got the food that I'm going to recommend that Lulu trial. Okay. It's the Prime 100 SBD Air. It's actually air dried chicken and brown rice. Mm -hmm. It's great because it's a single protein. Mm -hmm. So for skin trials and diet trials, it's great to use just a single protein so great. we can see how she responds. Yeah. It's also got all those great things for digestive health, prebiotics, probiotics omega oils which are really important for that skin barrier health and mm -hmm. those allergies mm -hmm. and I think she'll love it as well. No, exactly. <laughs> You're saying that? please. <laughs> Look, she, she, knows, she likes it already. She knows it already. <laughs> this is your treat. You. Oh, oh please. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to get it isn't it? <laughs> so next steps for Lulu is that we keep her on this diet solely, no other treats, no other foods for about four to six weeks and see how she responds. And what we would expect if she's doing well is that itchiness clears up, that she's no longer chewing and biting, keeping up everybody at night time, and see that improvement in general skin health. And hopefully get these allergies under control as well. You love it. 
We're really keen to try this new approach to helping Lulu with her skin. This seems like a positive new option for her and to see that she already likes the food, it seems like an easy approach as well. Lulu, good girl. Just over a month later, Alison has returned to see how much of a difference Lulu's new diet is making. So it's been about five weeks since I've seen Lulu. I'm anxious to see how she's been going, whether she's been eating the diet, how her skin is looking, and whether the family are noticing some big improvements. Lulu. Let's go. Do you want to say hello to Ali? Here's Ali to see you. Oh, do you want to go in? In you go, good girl. Yeah. Oh, it's been very easy actually. Lulu has really enjoyed the foods, whereas with different medications, she's not so keen on taking it. So how's Lulu been going the oh, last few weeks? She's been going really well, Ali. So look how much whiter her feet are. Yes. She's definitely been licking less. And actually, because she would tend to lick them as she was trying to get to sleep, she's really going off to sleep a bit more quickly as well. Perfect. But yeah, she's, she's enjoyed eating the food and doing that quite quickly, aren't you, Lou? Yeah. That is amazing and, news. And um, it's not upsetting her tummy or anything. She's healthy and she's well and she's happy and playing. So Perfect. all good. Can I have your paw? <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, she, you're able to touch her feet more now, whereas before if you touched it, she would actually she start would react, licking. Yeah. yeah. It's only been five weeks, so we won't see you know the redness go away because that, of course, is a colour change from her chronic licking previously. She's no longer chewing and biting at those pores, so those are all really good signs. So the future is looking a lot better for Lulu and Leanne. Fantastic. Alrighty. Well, well I thank think you, Ali. It's she's been great well. seeing you. Thank yeah. you. Well, I think she's doing well. So if there's any issues, give me a call. But that skin's looking great. So hopefully we've got down to the bottom of the problem. Fantastic. And you like the Prime 100 food. Lovely. Well, thank you so much no for helping worries. us. It's been a great outcome for Lulu and for us. So thank you. we'll see you soon. See you soon. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, Lou, let's go. Inside, Baba. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.